Hi there YouTube viewers. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my my main influence in my, my second main influence in the raw food movement. It was Dr. Herbert Shelton. Uh, when I started almost 11 years ago uh, living on fruits and vegetables, I didn't know what I didn't know what natural hygiene was actually. So I started studying Doug, Douglas Graham's work and I was marveled about all the, the concepts and I, I stumbled upon like he speaking about natural hygiene several times I went to look after and I, even I asked him in his veg source forum and he told me uh, if you want to read more about natural hygiene study Do Dr. Herbert Shelton's work I, I didn't know how how influential he would be, but his books and his work really changed my life forever. So grateful for this man and, and for his work. Took hygiene to the next level. He probably was the most influential person until now in the the health movement, in the raw food movement really excited about doing this this video and about talking about Shelton because although he he died in 84 or 85 just what people talk about him and how how he worked and to listen to his audios uh, that are available at uh, Herbert Shelton here in a YouTube channel and you can download in other places uh, you can see that he was like an incredible person, an uh, admirable person. Today's video is about Dr. Herbert Shelton. Herbert Shelton was a naturopath. I think also uh, he was a chiropractor. I'm not sure. But he was also like a, probably the most... Uh, the person that wrote more books in the, the health movement. Health and natural... In the natural health movement. Uh, he published more than 40, 40 books or something like that. He was also like a, a vegetarian, a pacifist, a supporter of uh, uh, raw veganism, a diet based on fruits and vegetables as he preached that human beings were frugivores, like most natural hygienists, right? He was, since his childhood, he was amazed by uh, fasting, the, the uh, what animals usually do when they're hurt they fast so one of the most interesting things in Shelton's work is that he super uh, he was a fasting supervisor with a health school and he people claim that he supervised more than 40,000 fasts in his whole life it's like more than uh, the person who supervised more fasts during the whole history he really changed people's lives and his books are like marvelous until now although uh, nutritional science has evolved a lot he got so many concepts right he got so many things ahead of his time he was really a visionary and a so dedicated man and I encourage you highly to listen to his audios and he read his books uh, primarily the, 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 the hygienic system volumes I think it goes from 1 to 7 and fasting can save your life as well is a uh, really good book there are a lot of good books but uh, I think you should read them all although it's 40 books or like and some you probably wouldn't find but there are some books in PDF in soil uh, and health.org and you can download it for free also you can listen to his audios there will be a, a great amount of like uh, information free on the internet you don't even need to buy his books he has three books published about fasting uh, fasting for the renewal of life fasting can save your life and the hygienic system uh, about fasting I don't remember the name exactly but his work even influenced, influenced Mahatma Gandhi to do his fasts. Uh, even uh, Dr. Joe Furman, a famous uh, 
medical doctor from US, plant-based. Uh, he fasted under Shelton's supervision for 42 days and was a, 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 a marvel, a, a, amazed by the, the his fat by Shelton's fasting patients uh, coming to life once again and being able to live and you know to reverse chronic diseases. So Shelton also was uh, advocate of raw foods and as any natural hygienist, uh, he believed that nature uh, provided everything we need to thrive and the body heals itself. He doesn't need uh, external influences or therapies or treatments or pills and potions and you know uh, or needles or anything like that. He just needs the, nat the, the, the elements of life sun, water, uh, clean water, uh, our natural diet, exercise, and all the, the, the elements that were that our physiology evolved with are the ways by what the ways that nature uses to maintain and sustain us or to regain our health. Dr. Shelton was actually jailed by making an anti-draft statement. He was a pacifist. He, he, he you can hear in his lectures, he uh, complaining about wars and and drafting. Also, he was arrested three times for practicing medicine without a license. He usually uh, jokes he wouldn't practice medicine medicine even if he had a license, but. Uh, has a natural pad and with the, the the fight between the 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 health field you know the uh, the medical doctors uh, trying to display naturopathy and not accepting fasting and dieting and things like that uh, he was actually arrested three times because of that in one of the time in one 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 of that was he was arrested for 30 days and he said that he fasted for his 30 days on prison to, to not eat that the, the 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 cooked food in prison and his his lectures are quite funny he, he's quite impressive he was against a lot of things us hygienists in general but uh, primarily Shelton was against a lot of things in the usual health movement like enemas one of the strongest advocates of food combining and he as I said he supervises a lot of fasts and a lot a lot of people claim that he saved his life and I I can say that Shelton saved my life as well although he's not he was not alive when I uh, his work his writings saved my life and changed it forever my comprehension of health so he fasted people from like a week to 40 days even uh, uh, sometimes to 90 days yeah three months without food it's like impressive although not everybody have body fat reserves to do that he was actually bankrupted because two of his patients over like 40,000 died but we have to take into account that sometimes after so so many so many organs have been removed after so many therapies treatments a bad diet a bad lifestyle habits uh, the body's damage uh, the body's capacity to regenerate itself it's overwhelmed so if uh, hygiene, uh, if he took a, a person that was already uh, a, has his, he usually says pass beyond vital redemption even though you start fasting and adopt a healthy diet uh, a healthy life, uh, natural hygiene lifestyle there's nothing more it can be done uh, the person is already in like uh, in a terminal state so I don't know the cases exactly, but as I trust in Shelton's work and all, all what other fasting supervisors says about him, the, 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 these two cases were probably uh, passed beyond vital redemption, but 
in one of the, in the last case that happened, the person died. He he was suited and lost his health school and was bankrupted for like a million dollars or something like that. If 40,000 fasted under his supervision and got healthy and well from any many chronic diseases, we can't say we, we, we could actually say that nobody have that uh, successful record history because as we know uh, iatrogenic diseases kill around uh, 250 annually just on uh, United States 225 I think that was the last uh, data that I found but uh, from Iatrogenic causes are, means uh, caused by physicians, so it can be unnecessary surgeries, medication errors, other errors in hospitals, adverse effects from medications, and things like that. So, iatrogenic diseases kill a lot of people every year, like thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands. So complain that one person or two person died during a fasting because they lived their lives like with gluttony, smoking, drinking and leading the worst lifestyle that can be and reach natural hygiene in their in, in the end of their lives in their terminal state and then they go try to do a fast or something like that it's like uh, insane so I, I trust Shelton's views, I trust Shelton's work, is that why I follow it for like 11 years now? Although natural hygiene we have uh, uh, advanced some concepts primarily about dieting. We don't use 80% uh, cooked food as they used before, 80% uh, raw foods as they used before and some 20% cooked. Uh, we are now are like one modern hygiene as we we say uh, we are 100% frugivores for what Shelton's had at the time, the science and the, the empirical data. I think he couldn't do, he couldn't be better. So he dedicated his whole career. People say that he used to work like 14 hours a day or something like that. He usually says in his, his lectures that he didn't took any uh, vacations or anything like that. So, the man was uh, admirable. Uh, Dr. Shelton says that a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, impressive stuff happening during his, uh, his patient's fasting. But one of the most impressive, impressive ones that I heard was probably the, the case of a, a child with poliomyelitis. Uh, I heard through Alan Scott, he's a, a Arcadian's fasting supervisor and that the kid it, it was a, a fasting on on a child we have you know, from two years of age with this disease and Shelton but the, the the child but the kid to fast for more than 40 days or 47 days actually I have the picture here and I found the information on the website this fasting supervisor said that he he, he met at the kid uh, when he was already an adult, like in his 40s. Although this disease causes, uh, per, per, it's paralyzing, I don't know the, the word in English, but the, the, the children, the, the, the adult didn't have any sequelae from, from the, the, the disease itself. So it's quite impressive to trust nature as Shelton did it to fast a child for 40, more than 40 days, a, a two-year-old child with a, a terrible disease, but it's impressive as nature, uh, and it's impressive as Shelton. Uh, dedication, trust in his work, and uh, ability to deal with the sick and to read the, the fasting symptoms and to understand uh, nature signs. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, post your comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel and Instagram, also subscribe to our mail letter, and stay tuned for our 
Retreats here in Brazil, our natural hygiene frugivore retreats here in Saquarema in our space uh, Frugal Health. Uh, we run culinary and uh, scientific retreats with a lot of culinary classes and scientific classes about raw foods and uh, natural hygiene. Uh, we also have online courses and books. Uh, although they are still in Portuguese, they are being translated to English, so we have access to them. So, I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.